<clears throat> Hi guys. Happy Tuesday. <clears throat> so today is the first day in a few days that I have felt normal-ish. Um, I have some patches of eczema that I'm working through and all of it goes back to um, my vitamin D being crazy, crazy low and, um, you know, just trying to kind of like get back onto the healthy vibes. Hi, Mariah. Um, so I'm on the vitamin D supplement now. Clearly going outside and getting some sunshine is not going to be a part of my regular routine here in New York. <clears throat> but um, this is not a problem because I have the best makeup to cover it up. So if you don't know what eczema is, it's basically just like your skin sort of overreacting and um, multiplying faster than it should. It's itchy. It sort of raises up. It looks a little bit red, um, but hugely attributed to nutritional deficits, vitamin deficiencies, and things like that. So also this time of year, it's just super dry to begin with. So I'm actually going to be using... Um, my CC cream and my foundation today to kind of show you how I super infuse my skin with extra moisture to kind of combat that. Hi Molly, hi Liz. Um, so I'm gonna be using a shade Soft Blush and then I'm gonna be using CC cream in medium. So all of these products are vegan. They are non-toxic, soy-free, dairy-free. They're never tested on animals. Um, they're just really, really clean products. Um, the FDA only bans 11 ingredients in the health and beauty sort of topical. Hi, Molly. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Paula. Um, hi, Michael. Uh, the FDA bans like 11 items, which is crazy because there's a lot of crap out there. I'm just going in with a little bit of primer. Um, the European Union, they ban a lot more. They ban like 1,200 Arbonne bans more than 2,000 different chemicals that are allowed in other health and beauty products, which is wild when you think of, you know, when people have allergic reactions to their skincare or to their makeup, it's because of the chemical compounds in them. So moving towards Arbonne, I really did want to get away from a lot of those chemicals and just kind of start really looking at the stuff I was putting on my skin because 80% of that stuff is absorbed instantaneously into your bloodstream and the rest of your body. And your skin is the biggest organ on your entire body, so you do have to show it some respect. It's not all that different than just drinking in poison when you're putting it right on your face. So um, that was a huge point of contention for me to make some switches in my life. And that is how I ended up at Arbonne and why I'm so passionate about telling people about it because I was kind of in the dark for a long time. I'm glad that I came out of that. Hi, Nicole. So um, with my vitamin D being super low, which it's been before, it was like this over the summer even, which is weird. Um, I just kind of wanted to sort of clean my diet up 100%. And one of the things that I'm doing is, you know, taking the multivitamins and just taking better care of myself, which also means that I drink like six of these a day. Drink your water. Always drink your water. Okay, so this time of year, the lack of moisture in the air is a killer for your skin. You can definitely take care of your skin with skincare, but there are things that you can wear during the day <clears throat> like CC cream, which is a complex, uh, complexion. What do they call it? I'm totally spacing. Hi, Tanya. Um, a complexion enhancer. So it's a tinted moisturizer that's going to basically just correct your complexion. That's it. A complexion corrector. So I'm going to go in with the shade medium today and we, it comes in a couple of different shades. This is a shade medium, which is clearly, you can see on the back of my hand, darker than my skin. But I'm going to go in with the shade Soft Blush in our liquid foundation. And I'm going to put a pump of that, really more of like a half a pump, right on the top. And I'm going to blend them together. I personally like when my foundation is just slightly darker than my skin because I go in with a concealer and I add that layer of brightness to my face and then it makes like all the sense in the world. So the one thing you want to do is let your foundation or your primer sit on your face for just a few minutes so that you're not blending your makeup into the primer. You're blending it over the top 
the primer is sort of like a barrier so that you get a nice clean makeup look. Now I go in with the bare minimum amount of product just to cover my skin and you can always go and add a little bit more. I just cannot stand product waste. So that's the reason I go in with like as very little as possible. Hi Stephanie, hi Lindsay, say hi when you guys hop on. I'm just taking a um, damp beauty blender and I'm just gonna press the makeup into my skin just like this. And you can see how nicely that blends out. Literally, it's not creating a mask on your skin where you feel like you have this cakey, sort of solution all over you and you don't really recognize yourself. Hi, Ashlyn. Um, we are literally just sort of going over our face with a complexion corrector, which is light to medium coverage. And adding a little bit of that foundation to it is gonna bump it up to a more full coverage so that you get to neutralize any redness in your skin and you just get like a nice clean base for your makeup. And less is always more. Always, always, always less is more with foundation. And there you go. So that is the medium CC cream with the uh, foundation shade Soft Blush blended into it. And that's also another reason why I love blending makeup like this. You're able to make the exact right shade for your skin. I'm able to get that glowy complexion from the CC cream and I'm able to get the benefit of the full coverageness from the foundation. And Mina, of course, has to chime in. Okay, <clears throat> so we're gonna go in with concealer right now. I use concealer. Mina! This dog thinks she's so important, I apologize. All right, so concealer, this is the shade Fair. Yes, fair, which is the lightest shade of concealer that we have. I am very fair skinned, but I like a nice bright under eye. I like to just kind of like clean up a lot of areas of my skin with it. And we're just gonna draw sort of like this upside down V right underneath our eyes. And I love this applicator because I used to, with the other brand of makeup I wore, it came in a tube and you had to squeeze it out and I would always over apply when I squeezed it out and used my fingertips. So I used to squeeze it out and then take a brush similar to this to apply it. Hi, <laughs> thanks Molly. Um, so using this, I'm able to control how much makeup I put on. And the best part about it is things that you're gonna apply on your under eyes, you wanna be very diligent not to over apply. Um, when you see people that have a lot of like creasing on their under eyes, you wanna use as little product in areas that you have fine lines and wrinkles as possible. And so for me, this applicator makes that possible that I can go in as light handed as possible. So on the chin. So all the areas that we're highlighting are the areas that we want to come forward. And we're going to blend this in, even though it looks crazy bright compared to my foundation. Um, you'll be amazed when we blend this together, how well. And I literally only went in this one time. I didn't go back and forth and back and forth and put a ton of concealer on. We're just using it to highlight and brighten. <clears throat> Hi, Andrea. Okay, so I'm going to take the same Eco Tools blending sponge and I'm going to use this short flat side right here. And I'm just going to press that concealer into my skin. And you can see how it just sort of diffuses that line. Look at that. Easy peasy. And the brightness is next level. That's why I tell people not to stress over finding the exact shade for your foundation. It's great to get really, really close, but I actually prefer my foundation just one iota deeper than my skin is because I like to go in with a really bright concealer and highlight my face. I can really use like four or five different shades of foundation and, um, with the use of contour, I can make anything look like it was built specifically for me. But look at how that just like blends in so perfectly together. 
I'm really beyond in love with this makeup. All right, the forehead, and then we're done. And you can't even see that little eczema patch there anymore. Gone. Magic erased. Okay. Perfect. All right. So all of these products I'm using today, with the exception of the CC cream, come in the 18-piece makeup kit. So if you're looking to sort of clean your makeup kit out and start fresh with non-toxic products, this is the perfect time to do it. It, it allows you to become a preferred customer for free this month. You get a free gift. I got the $90 night cream for free. Um, you get free shipping. And then for the rest of the year, the next 12 months, you're going to get 20 to 40% off of my website, anything on it for being a preferred customer. So there's a lot of benefits to doing that. Um, so everything I'm going to use today comes in the 18 piece makeup kit with the exception of the CC cream and the finishing spray. Those are the only two items. And I'll be very honest that they're not in there. Um, I'm going to look so much better after watching this. It's really kind of amazing putting the right products in the right places, the way that your skin can transform. Truly it, it's like a, a magic trick. Okay. So setting pretty translucent setting powder. Um, I used to be of the school of thought way back when that translucent setting powder, finishing spray, and primer were all phony baloney myths and people didn't actually need them. And I'm happy to report that I was very wrong about that. They are super important. Primer is going to make your makeup stay on so much longer. It's going to perfect your skin so that when your makeup goes on on top of it, you're not going to see things like fine lines, pores, imperfections, that sort of thing. And your makeup is just going to be nice and smooth. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Tara. Hi, Andrea. Um, the same thing goes for setting pretty translucent setting powder. This, which is, it smells like a cupcake. And you can see that it's got like a little bit of like a metallic glow in there. Um, I always apply it with a brush and I don't bake it on because I like as little product on my face as possible and I'm cheap and it definitely keeps it from running out faster. Um, what this does is <clears throat> it's going to set your makeup. So things like humidity, um, crying throughout the day, um, just your skin sweating, oil production, all that kind of stuff does not shift your makeup. So you want to definitely go through with a nice translucent setting powder like this, non-toxic. Um, and basically it's this especially is going to give you a beautiful glow because it's got just the littlest bit of like a metallic sheen in it, but it will not change the color of what you're putting it over. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Jackie. All right, perfect. And now my face is set. So the deal with makeup is you want to start with creams and liquids and then you want to move to powders. So now that I've done powder, I will not go back to another cream product on my face. It's going to upset the apple cart. Um, when you see people layer creams on top of powders, you're going to also notice that it looks a little bit chalky because it doesn't blend perfectly. So from this point forward, we're only going to be using powder. Hi, Courtney. How are you? All right. Let's add a little bit of color to my face now, and I'm gonna do that with bronzer. Wait until you see the difference using bronzer. I particularly love this bronzer because it is a nice, cool bronzer, and it doesn't make me look orange, which most bronzers tend to do. So I love to use this big brush. I used to use a smaller brush, but I found that this actually does work better. Um, it allows me to feel for that hollow in my cheek right here, I'm able to measure where the top of my ear is and the corner of my mouth and blend out without making it look streaky and like a big chunky line. And look at that, how natural it looks. And just looking at my face dead on, you can see the contour of my cheek so much better on this side than you can on that. And as Chase and I like to say, we have big round tomato faces. And this definitely helps combat the old tomato face. But oh, bronzer is life, especially if you live in New York in the winter and you're Eastern European like I am. 
Hi, Andrea. Thank you. So we're just going to do now. I didn't even go back in and add more bronzer because being so fair skinned, I like to use as much as I can from the brush before I go back in and get more. But I'm basically able to contour my nose, my temples, my cheeks with one dip in the bronzer. So now we're going to do our jawline. Don't forget the jawline. The jawline is like your instantaneous 10 pounds off your face. So you just dust it right on the bone structure and then we're gonna blend it down. And blending it down a little bit further on the sides of your neck than you do right in the center is also gonna contour your neck. So when the sides are darker, just like on your cheeks, you look longer and leaner. So happy I was able to hop on and catch you really quick. Oh, Andrew, you're so sweet. I'm glad that you could see it live. But as always, I always keep all these on my wall <clears throat> and I also upload any videos that I do to my YouTube channel so that they're easy to find there too. So if you ever find that like sometimes scrolling Facebook can kind of get like a little monotonous because there's so much content on there. If you ever just go to YouTube and type in Megan Barkovich, my channel will pop up. And I think all except for one video on there is makeup. And I usually put all of the products that I use in the description of it. So if you have any questions, just like I do on these videos, I try to give you all the information that you could possibly ask. But you can also message me on there too. Okay, so we're gonna go in with this Barbie pink blush and this blush scares the majority of people and I can see why. I used to have a blush this color with my other company as well and I first thought I was like a little bit Debbie Gibson when I bought it. I'm like this is not going to go well. It's so pretty on though you have to try something like this. So this blush is called Taffeta and it's so good. So literally hyper pigmented so you don't wanna go in and take too much blush like when you're using garbage drugstore products. We're just gonna tap it right on the top of that bronzer area, just like that. So much color, it's super natural, and you would never think that you would be able to achieve that with a color like this, but I promise you, Less is more, and when you're using products that are really good quality and hyperpigmented, you're not gonna need a ton of product to get a really nice result. Again, just once in there. And you're good. So if the other thing is, if you ever find that you overdo it on the blush. You can always take a giant super powder blush. You don't brush, you don't have to add anything to this and just kind of diffuse it out. I mean, I personally am loving this, so I don't want to diffuse it out. But if you ever do feel like you went in a little hot, just take a big super powder brush like this with nothing on it and blend it out. Super easy to do. Um, I will skip the glow palette today because the glow palette is not part of the 18 piece makeup kit, but I want to show it to you because I personally think it's definitely worth it. So the glow palette comes with four different shades of highlight blush bronzer that you can mix and match. I use this for quick eyeshadow. I use it all over my face all the time. It's a beautiful palette. So if you are looking for a little highlight and glow, grab the glow palette. Hi, Kate. All right, so now we're gonna play up our eyes a little bit. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is go in with our brow pencil in the shade medium. And the best part about these brow pencils is it's, Im it's impossible to overdo your brows. And believe me, I have seen my share of like crazy, like the angry brows, you know, where it's like there's no way that exists in nature. Um, that's one of the things that I love the best about when I switched to Arbon was that literally I didn't look phony anymore. Like I looked just more like me and it was like really kind of refreshing. So this is the medium pencil and we're just going to draw a little line on the bottom of our brow from the start to the finish. Just like that. We're going to do the same thing on the top and this is just going to fill in your brow and give you a little bit more structure to your face. If you don't think that brows make a huge difference, just give it a go one time. I will do 
this brow completely and then we can compare and contrast. So this comes in the 18 piece makeup kit as does the brow gel, which I'm gonna use in the shade light to medium. So super teeny tiny little wand here. And we're just gonna kind of comb up our brows. And what this does is it makes them look a little fuller, a little bolder, a little more polished. Easy peasy. And again, everything is non-toxic, vegan friendly. Nothing is tested on animals. But look at the difference between the two brows, the finished and the untouched. It just like structures my face a little bit better. So we're gonna take that medium pencil, draw the bottom line front to back, do the top line, and you just want to make sure that you get that arch to the tail, especially because that should be the strongest, boldest part of your brow. Give a little brush. Hi, Kira. Hi, Charlene. Again, we're going to go in with the brow gel and just add a little bit of brow gel and brush those puppies up. It's amazing how much fuller they look with a little bit of brow gel on them. Next level. Next level, friends. All right, I get OCD and I have to put everything away after I'm done using it. Okay. All right, so let's switch over to eyes. We're going to use eyeshadow palette one, which are these beautiful earth tones. Definitely like Kim Kardashian vibes. Um, let's see what color. I'm wearing like a mustardish shirt. So let's do something to play off of it. And let's go in with Let's go in with Forest, because I haven't used this yet. So this really pretty green, <clears throat> we're gonna make it look natural, believe it or not. So all these shades are hyperpigmented. Don't go digging too much. I'm gonna take that and just blend it in to the crease of my eye, really softly. You wanna start small and build pigment up as you go. Don't go in with a ton of color on your brush. You will grow to regret it because it's really hard to blend things out when you use a ton at once. So start small and then you can always add a little bit of color as you go. Remember my less is more thing. That's irritating me. Two seconds. I had a little chunk there that was irritating me. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit more forest right in the corners. Just blend those out really nicely. And I love all of these shades because they have a little hint of shimmer to them. Not so much that you look like you're trying to like use a fake ID to get into a nightclub when you're 16 years old, but just enough that your face looks really nicely polished. All right, and then we're gonna take, I know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Red Rock. Now these two are totally across from each other on the color wheel. You would not typically think to um, blend them but I'm gonna put a little bit of this just in the back corner. It's gonna deepen it up and it's gonna make like a sort of a soft brown between the two. And we're just sort of windshield wiping it right into the crease. Hi, Brandy. And then we're gonna be good. And you do get to pick an eyeshadow palette with the 18 piece makeup kit. It's all right in there. All right, so <clears throat> eyeliner, I'm going in with the shade Carob, this really pretty sort of like medium brown. You don't even need a pencil sharpener with Arbonne. They're just retractable and fabulous. All right, so we're just gonna do a little bit of Carob right on that upper lash line. Smoke it out a little bit. 
these blend out like an actual dream and smudge that a little. And I love these because when you do right on your lash line and smudge them, it just allows you, it makes your lashes look like that much bigger and bolder. And they're super silky. Everything's hypoallergenic. If you have sensitive eyes, you do not need to worry about these products irritating you. All right, so we're going to go in with <clears throat> Speaks Volume Mascara. Also comes in the 18-piece makeup kit. Um, I love a bold lash, so I always go in with two coats. And you're just going to want to twirl your lash wand. You're going to want to start at the root and just kind of give it a twirl. Just like that. And it's going to lengthen and separate your lashes so beautifully. And then we're going to let it dry. Go to the other lash. Look at just one coat is perfection. But the second coat is honestly where the magic happens. Another little tip is put your mirror beneath you or just below eye level and you won't end up with mascara like up by your eyelash or your eyebrow. This wand also makes it really, really easy to get the little teeny baby lashes that are up in the corner of your eye. And when you get those in there with the mascara, it makes your lashes look much more full for some reason. All right, so we're gonna do a second coat and then we will hit the bottom baby lashes just with what's left over on the wand. Okay, so lower lashes, just get the leftover mascara on them because I have a true aversion to tarantula lashes. And I feel like when I go in with a fresh coat, I'm more likely to get the, the really thick tarantula lash. Hi, Rosie. Okay. Oh, lashes make all the difference in the world. Okay, so <clears throat> the piece de resistance we're gonna do a favorite lippy right now. So I'm going in with the shade Peach. This is Peach, right? Yes. Peach Lip Liner, perfect nude. Then we're gonna go in with Willow Lipstick. All of these come in the 18 piece makeup kit and then we're gonna to top it with Hazel Lip Gloss. So this is a perfect nude lip. Like it does not get better than this. Um, I love lip liner. I feel like it's a necessary step. It helps you to perfect the perfect lip that you're looking for, get the right shape and fullness, and it also keeps your lipstick in place all day by creating a little bit of a waxy border around your lip so that your lipstick doesn't like shift and move. So I'm just gonna trace my lip line. I always go a little bit deeper right in the center. It's called overlining. I go just on the outside of my natural lip line And that just makes your lips look slightly more full. Don't do it on the outside or you will look like you got punched in the mouth. Okay. Perfect. Like I said, it's a beautiful nude. It's not going to change. It's basically just going to take your lip and make it look more perfect without changing the color. Okay, so Willow lipstick, gorgeous, gorgeous lipstick. And non-toxic. I think I read 80% of what you put on your lips you ingest. So make sure that you're putting something non-toxic on your lips, please. If you wouldn't eat it anyway, don't add it to your skincare routine or your lips. Thank you. All right, and then we're going to top it, even though it's perfect as it is, we're going to top it with hazel lip gloss because a glossy lip looks big and juicy, and I have a thing with big, juicy lips. Okay. 
Again, also smells like cupcakes and is non-toxic. Now, here is a little trick. If you like a little bit more dimension in your lip, take a little bit of your concealer, pop it on your finger, just like that. And we're gonna blend it in. That was actually way too much. <laughs> we're gonna blend it in. So this creates like a soft ombre and I should have used like literally a touch because that stuff is potent. And it just like brightens up your lip. And next time I'll do it even better and not use too much concealer. All right, so finishing touch, <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with Arbonne Let It Set Setting Spray. Amazing, it smells like essential oils, it's non-toxic. Oh, it's so refreshing. If you have dry skin, you can definitely toss this in your purse and bring it with you. If any point during the day you find yourself looking in the mirror and going, I just don't look fresh anymore. Take a little of that setting spray, bring it with you, throw it in your purse, and just like when you hit that spot in the day, give your face a little zhuzh with it. Oh my God, it's next level for like brightening your skin, hydrating it. It's got <clears throat> essential oils, um, just like good stuff in it that makes your skin looks refreshed. And it also sets all the powder that we just put on our makeup on our face so that it's not gonna move during the day. So just like we started with creams and liquids and then we moved to powders, powder set liquids, liquid sets powders. So that's why we finish with this. Okay, so that being said, there's a crazy good deal on the makeup kit this year, this month, this month. Um, so you get the 18 piece makeup kit, it retails for over $500 worth of products and you get it for like I want to say it's less than 220. Don't quote me on that, but it's very close to that. Plus you get free shipping. You get to be a preferred customer for the year for free. You get a free gift. I got the $90 night cream. Um, and then everything that you buy for the rest of the year, whether it's makeup, skincare, nutrition, hair care, baby products, anything like that is 20 to 40% off. All vegan, all non-toxic, all amazing. So um, if you have questions and you want to get color matched and you want me to help you build you a bundle, just ask. We also have two beautiful skincare kits that are on sale this month. The RE9, amazing. It comes in like five different kinds so you can customize it whether you're looking for extra moisture, if you're looking to fight wrinkles, um, contouring, all that kind of stuff, you can customize it. We have the men's skincare line on sale and we also have the Biohydria line, which is what I got because it's basically like super infusing your face with all kinds of amazing moisture. And it has done worlds of good for me because my skin was basically shriveled up like a raisin. And then I started using the Biohydria day cream right off the bat and it was like day and night. So those three skincare systems are all on sale this month too. So if you would like to customize anything, just let me know. Send me over a selfie in, I would say in good lighting in front of a window, but it is dark and crummy out. Um, so just send me over a recent selfie. I can tell you if it's good or not in terms of color matching you. And then we can get you all set up. Everything has a 45 day love it guarantee. So if something is not the perfect shade, you can always exchange it for something else. But that being said, I love you guys. Um, we are definitely on our way with Arbonne. I'm loving all the changes that I've made with it. I feel so much better. Um, I'm loving the products. I love what they stand for and what they mean and what they do for people in terms of putting like really good quality ingredients on your skin. 
Um, <clears throat> so if you have any questions about that or becoming a consultant or just using the products, I am here to help. So I love you guys. I will be back here on Thursday. If there's something special that you want to see, just shoot me a message and then I can make sure that I tailor the next live to address those things. But I will see you back there. Love you. Mean it. See you Thursday.